Hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to a very special video newsletter, the spring UBMS 2022 preview. Woo. Yeah, I know we haven't, I haven't, I know for my students, I haven't really talked, to, I kept telling them the spring calendar is coming. <laughs> here it but is. Remember, here it is. Boom. Here it is. So with this special edition, we're going to basically just talk about what was coming up this spring and all the things yeah. that everybody has to look forward to. <laughs> so, Mr. Aaron, talk stuff. about January. All right. So January, which is uh, one of the better months because that's my birthday month. Um, so, <laughs> so a couple of things we're going to do in January. One of those is we're going to do an online activity just because, you know, the weather in January, eh, not so great. So we're going to do a uh, Aurora hunting in Iceland online event. That'll be very fun. Um, and I believe that'll be through Zoom, right, Stacey? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that'll be a, a fun activity. So we'll do, uh, as you know, another name for Aurora, for Aurora is Northern Lights. So that should be really cool. Um, and then we'll do a service learning activity. So if you're looking for service learning opportunities, um, we'll be doing that at the Melting Pot in Johnson City. We'll be feeding the homeless there. Um, that actually uh, is at my home church, so that's where I go. Um, and then we'll get to go bowling after that back in Greenville. Um, so we'll drive to JC, do our service learning, come back to Greenville, do a little bowling, have some lunch in between there, of course, like always. And then, um, so yeah, should be a fun, fun time. Okay, and then February... I'm super excited about this first thing. We are going to see Neil deGrasse Tyson, who the title of this is An Astrophysicist Goes to the Movies. And for those of you who don't know who Neil deGrasse Tyson is, go look him up because he has <laughs> um, done a lot of cool things. And you might even recognize him because I feel like he makes appearances in, um, he's been in like the Big Bang Theory a few times. I love that show. So I see him pop up on there. Anyway, he's a very famous scientist, um, astrophysicist, but he is going to talk about um, movies and things that science things in movies that could really be true and that could not really be true, like that, that could really happen or could not really happen. And I am so, so, so excited to hear him speak. I heard he's uh, just funny and amazing speaker so we're going to that that's actually in Asheville so we're going to that in February also um, we will be having a career speaker um, most likely it's a physical therapist who is going to talk about physical therapy and then we're also that same night going to do a game night and Aaron is super excited about game night mm -hmm. um, he has some new games well they're not new they might be new to you they would be new to me but he knows some really cool card games and it's basically a board game night um type of game night not a not a basketball game <laughs> or a volleyball yeah. game <laughs> so um come with to prepared to play your best um i don't know spades whatever whatever come you want to play prepare to lose come prepare to lose <laughs> in case those of you if you haven't been around aaron and i are both extremely competitive so this should be an interesting night <laughs> um then we also have our ACT boot camp will be in February, um, and that is open to anybody who would like to do it. But kids, you can go up several points on your ACT if you've already taken it or if you haven't taken it yet. So it's a great way to um, really uh, advance your ACT score. So. And that is like the weekend before the testing, I think. So, for juniors, um, right? For juniors, yes. Yeah. So yeah, juniors, hop on that. Refreshing your brains. Yes, and there'll be a, there will be a sign up for that, so we'll send that out too. So, yep. All right. Oh, and oh, I forgot to say that about the Neil deGrasse Tyson. There is a sign up for that. We only have twenty tickets to that, so we'll do a sign up for that probably early January. So you want to get signed up for for that trip when that comes out. So, all right, March. All right, March. So um, the college fair is something new we're going to do this year, and this is going to involve you guys doing a little um, research for us. So especially, well, not especially, but uh, if you have a, a college that you are interested in and you are very willing to go, we're going to give you an opportunity to talk to 
other Upward Bound math and science students about this. So we're going to give you guys an opportunity to find a college, do some research on it, um, find some interesting information about it, and then present that to your other Upward Bound math and science um, friends. So that should be fun. That's, what, that's how the college fair is going to look this year. So instead of colleges coming in, uh, we're going to have you guys come in and talk about the colleges. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then, of course, the sort of the highlight of, of the spring, I guess, the early spring is the spring break trip. That'll be during uh, Green County spring, uh, spring break. And Stacey's going to talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. Um, so that's I've, I've talked to my students a little bit about it. So they're, I think, very excited about it. That will also be a limited opportunity trip. So to be able to go to that, you'll need to sign up for that. And then the um, Summer Bridge Workshop, this is for seniors only, and especially you ones that have been in the program for a while, you know what the, what, the, what the bridge students do. It's a little bit different than what everybody else does during the summer. So this is going to be that information session where we give you all the ins and outs of what the bridge class is going to look like this summer. So, Awesome. All right. So now I'm going to talk about the spring break trip. We are going to Savannah and Tybee Island. And uh, so excited for this trip. Um, so you can mark your calendars. It will be the 13th through the 15th. That's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so you'll still have a little spring break time there at the end of the week too with your family um, or to hang, if you're like my kid, sleep <laughs> on your spring break. Just catch up on your sleep. Um, but the first day we're leaving, we're going to tour the University of South Carolina. Um, we're also going to do Savannah Ghost and Gravestones trolley tour. Um, we didn't put any, we didn't, I didn't put any food on here, but there's a lot of great food places that we're going to check out too. Um, on that day, I think we're actually doing Paula Dean's. Um, for those of you that know Paula Dean, she has a famous restaurant in, Tra in Charleston, in Savannah. I think she has one in Charleston too, actually, but um, I think we're eating there that first day. Um, day two, we're going to Fort Pulaski, and actually, I know you might be like, oh, a fort, uh, but I love this fort. This fort is really cool. I've actually been here a couple of times, and I've been to lots of forts, and this is my favorite fort. If, if you, you know, I know everybody needs a favorite fort, right? <laughs> um, so Fort Pulaski, they shoot a cannon, though, and that's really cool, too. I don't know. I just love it. Um, so we're going there, and then the Tybee Lighthouse and Museum. Um, which is really cool too, the Tybee Island Marine Science Center, and we're going to get to do several things with them, um, hopefully, and depending on weather dependent, we may be doing some stuff out in the water with them. Um, we'll also have some beach time, so um, you'll get to get your toes in the sand and dip your toes in the water. We will not be having any swim time. It will still be early March at that time and it will not be warm. Um, the water will not be warm. So there will not be any swimming in the ocean, but we will definitely give you guys some time to walk on the beach and maybe stick your toe in the water, um, but you're just not gonna be able to go all the way out in there and swim. Um, we're also gonna do a sunset dolphin cruise and lose, learn about dolphins. So. Then the third day, we're going to the University of Georgia Marine Education Center and Aquarium, and they're going to do some special um, marine biology type things with us as well there. So I'm really looking forward to it. I know Aaron is too. It's going to be a really great special trip. And, yeah. and before I forget, so this is limited to 30 people. We only have uh, room for 30 students to go on this trip. So there will be an application that you'll fill out. Um, keep in mind that how we decide who goes on the trip has to do with your participation level. Um, it does have some to do with seniority, um, with your behavior, with, you know, if you've, if you participated last summer, you get credit for that as well um, towards, towards this trip as far as going. So um, make sure that you're trying to attend everything that you can. Um, because it does count for things like this when we have a limited number of spots. Is there anything else you want to say about that, Aaron? No, I was I was going to add, like, if any of you new students, if uh, you're wondering, you know, like, the places we stay, you can ask the students from last summer. We stay in nice hotels. We eat at the best restaurants. And so, 
you'll feel safe. The, the buses we take are, you know, I wouldn't say they're luxurious, but they're the most comfortable tour buses. You know, there's Wi-Fi, there's TVs, there's, you know, bathrooms on the buses. So all that kind of the travel stuff is pretty easy as far as um, that kind of stuff goes. So, And we'll also be having a spring break trip meeting um, about a week before we leave on the trip um, for your parents and for you. Um, to go over all the details and answer any questions that you might have. And like Aaron said, um, we've been doing this a long time and um, it is, it's, I don't know that I've ever had a student come back from a trip and be like, that was just the worst trip I've ever been on in my life. That's, <laughs> I don't, I've been doing this a long time and I don't, cannot ever think of any kid ever saying that. So um, you, you won't regret it at all. <laughs> all right. April. Is this me again? Yeah, I think it's you again. All right. So uh, in April, and so this first thing is actually the work study night for juniors. A lot of you juniors may not even know about this because we have actually haven't had much of it uh, because of COVID over the last couple of years. And so as part of like our summer programming, after the summer, um, actually the actual summer session, um, we do a work study, and this is for juniors only, so those um, that will be rising seniors, I guess. Is that right, Stacy? Yeah, so they will, you'll do a work study. Uh, you will actually get paid to. Um, there's several things to choose from normally, uh, so we want you to be involved in something you're interested in. Um, you go and you, you basically shadow. You, you work in the environment that you want to be in. Uh, so yeah, and then so we'll, that that works saying out will be a little more in depth, explaining on how that works and what it looks like and the scheduling of it all, and that kind of thing. Um, so we'll also in April we'll be doing the Briarwood Safari uh, and Family Fun Zone. That's sort of the same day but two separate events. That'll be a Saturday event. We'll go to Briarwood Safari, which is like a a zoo, but you're in a vehicle, you're in a trailer riding around in the zoo. Um, so it's almost like a zoo slash feeding opportunity slash petting zoo. Um, so that should be really fun. And we'll go to the family fun zone. For those of you that were around in the summer, you remember that trip. It's fun. It's we'll eat, um, we'll goof off, <laughs> play games, you know, do the inflatable stuff, the climb wall, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then we'll come home. And then the research night, uh, again, you all that were here last summer are familiar with that. So this will be when we're talking about uh, what the research options will be. We'll talk about the scheduling of it, how it's going to look this summer. Um, and so you can start thinking about your, what you're going to want to do in the summer. So that'll be, you know, towards the end of April. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, May, um, we have the senior banquet that is for seniors only. Um, but it's a special time that we can honor our seniors and we always have a nice little gift for them and a good meal. Um, we actually do this at First Presbyterian um, Church because they do this awesome catering for us and just set everything up. And it's just a very, very nice time with our seniors. So seniors, you do not want to miss the senior banquet. And then for everybody, our UBMS summer orientation will also be um, in May. Um, early early May to get you guys ready for summer and again it's something that your parents come to and we answer any questions and um, just let you know all kinds of information uh, so that's a good good thing too and then we have summer can't believe mm. it's just around the corner but it's amazing if you haven't been to a UBMS summer yet it's this is this is the time to come we're gonna have a great great summer um what else Aaron what else uh I don't know what else is there to talk about I thought uh, you know I, I thought of something like three slides ago but now I have no idea what it was oh yeah you lost it in the <laughs> slides yeah maybe it'll come back to you but maybe. we did we did want to remind everybody we are still taking applications for UBMS um at all of our schools um, all the Grand County schools and tops, we are taking applications. If you know a freshman or sophomore that um, wants to be in UBMS or that you think would be a good addition or is your BFF and we would love to have them, <laughs> um, 
just give us their name, have them fill out an application. There's an online application or you can get an application from us or the um, guidance offices at the schools usually have applications as well unless they're out. Um, so please, please, please do some talking up um, and help us get these last positions filled for UBMS. Anything yeah. else on that, Aaron? I, I, I want everyone to have a good break and relax and have a good time. Um, you know, get some rest, come back in January, ready to rock and roll. Yes. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun spring. Yes. And we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And if you need anything, you know how to find us and enjoy your time with your family in the holidays. Yep. Everybody have a great, great day. Bye, guys.